Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today, September 3rd. Um, as my title says, this is a Godzilla Collection update, because finally after 12 long years of collecting DVDs, I finally got the series complete. Um, with the exception of The Abomination that came out in 1998, I do not count that one. I'm probably with about 95% of the Godzilla fans who don't count that one. But, uh, and also considering the one video I did, I think about back in January, ended up being one of my most viewed videos, so I'm not going to show the toys, because they've all remained the same, like the little, um, Hallmark or Carlton cards ornaments that I get every Christmas, and the one toy that was about this big of the Millennium uh, series one. So, show off all of them. They're either on DVD or Blu ray, but I finally got them all after 12 years. Uh, first one, of course, is the original film, which I have on Blu ray in the Criterion collection. Uh, two different commentaries on this one and the other one. I'm keeping the other one because it came in the box set that I spent about um, almost $70 on. So, But yeah, I was more surprised than anything that uh, Criterion Collection decided to bring out Godzilla in their collection. And this is number 594 and it, it's actually really good Blu-ray. Like, it does have the scratches that the DVD has, but that's just the pit how the picture quality back uh, when they filmed it was. And, like, the DVD also has, uh, King Kong, or King Kong, <laughs> uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, the one that probably everybody saw first. So there we go, the Criterion Collection DVD of Godzilla, or Blu-ray of Godzilla. And then, of course, the one in the epic box set that I have, that I love, and I'm not getting rid of this, so, the, uh, this one, this one I kind of watch more because I like the commentary for uh, the original Japanese cut. It's real, uh, really interesting. It's two guys who wrote books. I think one of them did the big ultimate book back in the 90s that if you go on eBay, it's probably almost $100 to get. So there we go. There's that one. And then the next one is, of course, Godzilla Raids Again, also in that set with Angiris. I, I, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I had this on VHS years ago, but I think I watched it for a couple of minutes and I'm like, well, well, who the hell is this monster? And I don't even remember seeing Godzilla in the movie. So, that sucks. <laughs> so there we go, Godzilla Raids again. Um, which came out in 1976, I think. And this is the one that arrived today that prompted me to do this. King Kong vs. Godzilla. I was debating whether to get the original Japanese uh, version of this, but to tell you the truth, it's not really one of my favorite Godzilla films that I would spend the extra $10 to get the Japanese cut. That would only be saved for certain uh, movies. So there we go, King Kong vs. Godzilla. And the one I'm watching now, Mothra vs. Godzilla, but I'm watching the um, original Japanese cut. One thing I like about the DVDs that came in this box set is they give you the um, original Japanese version or the one that almost everybody knows, the American version. So there we go, 1964's Mothra vs. Godzilla. Also from 1994. 1964. Ghidorah, the three headed monster. And this is one of my favorites. It's high on my list. I like the Japanese version better. There we go, uh, Ghidorah, King of the Mon- King of the Monsters. I don't know, I've got King of the Monsters on my head. <laughs> um, Three-Headed Monster. And one that I, I treasure so much, because it has one of the best scenes in all Godzilla. And it was probably about the third or fourth Godzilla film I was shown when I was very small. And that is, um, Invasion of Astro Monster, or as we know it as Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. Or, as we know it, the epic movie with the uh, awesome Godzilla dance. <laughs> so I, I tried watching the uh, original Japanese version, and I just didn't like it. I think because I'm so used to the uh, American version. 
and I thought it was better. I, th I think it was the voices. So, but this this is a lot more awesome just for the very epic um, Godzilla dance. So there we go. Invasion of Astro Monster, or as some of us know it, Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. And then we have Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster from 1966. Another one of my favorites. The one that I was also considering getting the Japanese one, but eh, that's okay. I like this one a lot, actually. So there we go, Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. And, uh... Next up, we have 1967 Son of Godzilla, uh, another one that just made me burst into hysterics at the end, because I thought Godzilla and the little guy were going to die, but then I think a lot of us, I thought they were going to like freeze to death, so it was very upsetting. Um, I haven't watched this one in, in a very long time, it will be next on the, I do like the, uh, the giant, uh, Praying Mantis. I'm not a big fan of Spider, so a speaker was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Though his he's named something else, but from the uh, the VHS that I grew up on, he was called a speaker. So there we go, 1967 Son of Godzilla. And then I have the Blu-ray for Destroy All Monsters. I haven't watched this in a very long time, so I can't really comment on it. <laughs> um. But I heard, but this is a good one from what I remember. But it will be on my, uh, it will be on my list to watch because I am having my marathon again. So there we go, destroy all monsters on Blu-ray. And the one that's probably my least favorite, and it's probably the least favorite on a lot of people's list, is 1969's um, All Monsters Attack, or also known as Godzilla's Revenge. They basically just recycled old footage from the other films and put it in this one. It's like anything with that little kid was new. But otherwise, I didn't care for this one. I only have it because I'm a completist. To some extent. <laughs> There's some movies that are so terrible, I can't even have them in my collection. For example, the Silent Night, Deadly Night films. I watched all five of them for the first time. Well, two to five for the first time. I hated them. I absolutely hate them. I don't give one out of tens too often, and almost every one of them I gave one or two out of ten. So, moving on. <laughs> so there we go, Godzilla's Revenge, or uh, All Monsters Attack. One that you just have, you have to have a very big suspension of disbelief for this one. Because <laughs> it's just so out there. And that, of course, is Godzilla vs. Hedora, or Godzilla vs. Uh, the Submog Monster. I am... Like I said, you got you basically for a lot of these movies you gotta leave your brain at the door, but this one you have to leave definitely leave your brain at the door. It's so it can be so stupid, but it's it's fun. I like like I like a, some things about it, but I c the most ridiculous part is him using his radioactive breath to fly. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. I just thought, okay, what the fuck is this? But it just makes me laugh. I spent half the time during this movie just laughing my ass off. So there we go, 1971's Godzilla vs. Hedora. And next one up is 1972's Godzilla vs. Gigan. Another monster in introduced. Uh, he, he looks like a big, weird-ass chicken. <laughs> That's what he looks like to me. He looks like a chicken. And you have King Ghidorah and... And Geras, and there is a funny moment where they actually talk. Godzilla and um, uh, Godzilla and Geras, and it's kind of like, huh? what? <laughs> it's just so out there. But it's, kind of it's a fun movie. Again, very much suspension of disbelief on this one. So there we go. Godzilla versus Gaiga. And next one up, which I only got a couple weeks ago. This one, when, this one was a debater, and I was like, well, see, they say the picture quality is a hell of a lot better, and it was. And that, of course, is 1973s? Or ni yeah, 1973s Godzilla vs. Megalon. It even says right here, this, is, this one is where a lot of people were introduced to the character of Godzilla. Um... But it was so badly cropped for the VHS, which it was true, it was terrible. And the DVD I had before, 
which I gave to my mom, who is also a Godzilla fan. The picture quality was shit. This one is a hell of a lot better. It's more clear. And this also has my one of my favorite costumes of for Godzilla. This one up until uh, 1989 was my favorite. This like this this one and all the movies that I'll show up until Godzilla vs. Biollante. I think this was my favorite costume. So there we go. Godzilla vs. Megalon. And this one is probably my my third favorite out of the series. And it's uh, 1974's Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Uh, the 20th anniversary um, movie, as some of us call it. But yeah, the, the King Caesar, I was like, okay, I'm big weird Pekingese-like dog, <laughs> but uh, I thought this was a very good movie. I, I watched this one more than anything. I think it's a, it's a really good one. Of course, then, the use of the space monsters, or the, not space monsters, the alien invaders, it, it was getting, to me, it was getting old. They've used it so many times, so I'm kind of happy they don't really do that anymore. So, there we go, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And the last one for that big box that I have was uh, Terror of Mechagodzilla that had Titanosaurus in it. But uh, I watched the original um, Japanese version more than the American version. But eh, it's okay. I was kind of let down. I thought this would be as epic as Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And to me, I was kind of let down on that one. Or in this one. Blah. But it's okay for what it is. So there we go, Terror of Mechagodzilla. And this, I, when I started really buying on eBay uh, and Amazon UK to get my Doctor Who uh, DVDs over there because they're cheaper and nicer and all that, this was really the first Region 3, 2, whatever DVD I got. I'd been waiting for the announcement for years, never got it. I still have my VHS buried in my closet. <laughs> I should have brought it out for this, but uh, I totally forgot. Uh, and this one holds a special place in my heart because it was the first one I ever saw at the tender age of four, 29 years ago. And that, of course, is the return to of Godzilla. The return to Godzilla, yay! <laughs> of course, um... As we all know, Godzilla 1985. I got fed up waiting, and I told my mom I'm spending the money. And I got this really cheap from one of the sellers on eBay. And it only cost me about 12 bucks. Really good quality. I love the movie. This one makes a hell of a lot more sense. I still love Godzilla 1985. Um, but uh, And it, the funny thing is, I don't know if others have this same reaction, but... Like, 1985 made me cry so much. Even when he just started to leave Tokyo at the end, I was done. And, of course, there's that moment when he falls into the volcano, and then there's that high-pitched scream that he does just before his silhouette goes out of sight. And in this one, they don't have it. And to me, I was like, eh? <laughs> they should have left it in if they wanted people to cry during this one. But this has... The, the most interesting thing of having a very annoying theme song at the end of the film. <laughs> it, it's just too funny. And I finally got to show this one, this version, to my mom. And her first reaction was like, See, that's what Godzilla is supposed to look like. Because I showed her pictures of what he could look like in the 2014 version. But we don't know what he looks like. We're just speculating. But yeah, and this one is another favorite costume of mine. Some people don't like it, but I do. Probably because it was my the first one. So there we go, The Return of Godzilla. And I had this on Region 3 from the same seller I bought this, but then they came out on Blu-ray, and I'm a sucker for upgrades. So I got uh, Godzilla vs. Violent, and it does have some really cool special features on this, like Miramax, like this particular line of Miramax, Echo Bridge. They don't really give out special features too much. And there are some pretty good ones there. Like, even my God, uh, not Godzilla, Hellraiser Deader, or Hellraiser 7, had special features, and I think that shocked the hell out of me. <laughs> so, there we go, Godzilla vs. Violante. And now I have one of the double feature uh, sets with the 
Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah and Godzilla vs. Mothra, the Battle for Earth. I like the one, the King Ghidorah one the most. I thought that had a very interesting story. So, the other one, I don't remember too much. I haven't watched it in a very long time. So, there we go. The double feature of Godzilla vs. Uh, King Ghidorah and Mothra. And this is another one that I really, really enjoy. It's another favorite. And it's uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. And also, I should have pointed out, this was where the line of the ESP uh, people came in. Especially the girl with the big ears that, I hate to say it, made her look like Dumbo. But, uh, which is what my dad always said when we'd watch these. Like, hey, look, it's the Dumbo ears chick. <laughs> and I was like, dad, that's not nice. <laughs> but yeah, she was from 1989 till 1995. So, I wish they'd actually bring her back if they ever do another one. This was good. This also had Rodan, and it had the little Godzilla, the baby Godzilla, which I think was more realistic than the Pillsbury Doughboy we have in Son of Godzilla. And there's that cute little moment at the end. Uh, there's a couple cute moments at the end. That one with the, the lady who's basically looking after him. I had to leave him, and he's like, trying to get her to stay, and it was actually quite cute, especially when he just kind of starts whining, and then he has that lone tear come down his face. It's like, how can you not shed tears at that moment? And the other one was when... It's kind of a funny scene, because here's this little thing. He's about as tall as me, and I'm five foot five. And then you see Big Daddy come into the picture, and then the little, the little guy basically runs <laughs> for the trailer. It was so funny. But yeah, it was. it's a good one. I've, I'll stop ranting. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Another double feature pack with the... Uh, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Uh, haven't watched Space Godzilla in a long time. Destroyer, same as with Destroyer, but Destroyer just upset me so much. That is not exactly the way you want your hero to die that way. So how can you not, even even with what happened at the end, uh, it was hard n not to like cry at the end of that. And also while I'm on Godzilla vs. Destroyer, I got the original Japanese cut. Uh, same company as Return of Godzilla Region 3, so it came from Hong Kong. Haven't watched it yet because I'm not even at that. Wait, I'm not even. I've got a long way to go before I get to these ones. But I want to check. Some of these, some of the ones, I will buy this rebuy on these, but keep them. So there we go. Double feature pack of Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla and Destroyer, and the Region 3. One. Of course, as I said, I've said this numerous times, I do not count the abomination that came out in 1998. Even though I was super excited for that, and all that, it was t wasn't the plot, wasn't the acting, it was the fact they made him into a fucking iguana. I'm sorry, he ain't a lizard, he's a dinosaur. And even on some sites they say he's a lizard, and I'm like, no, he's a dinosaur. So, so I, I have nothing to do with the... Abomination, <laughs> as some of us call it. And moving on, this I count as the very first Godzilla movie I saw in the theater, and I loved it. I just loved it. I thought it was it was so much fun, and that of course is Godzilla 2000. To have the chance to see this, uh, see a Godzilla movie, a real Godzilla movie on the big screen, I cannot ignore. Uh, even though there's only a few of us in there. I think my, I have it somewhere, it's been well worn, but I wore my Godzilla t-shirt, and Godzilla King of the Monsters that had him from Godzilla 1985, and they're like, the guys were like, gee, I wonder what movie you're going to see, I go, yeah, gee, I wonder, I've only been waiting 16 years for this, and they're like, what about the, I go, oh, don't mention that piece of shit to me. <laughs> this was fun, I liked it, I did like his new look, even the long dorsal fins I like, and I like the fact they made his radioactive breath red, like, basically fire-like. But yeah, I did like this. I love the trailer for this movie. I love it. It's one of the best uses in Rob Zombie's Super Bees ever was <laughs> with this movie. So, there we go. Godzilla 2000. And next one up, I have Godzilla vs. Gears. And just a warning, the next ones, I haven't seen in a long time, so I can't really say anything. Um, 
This one, I, oh, I, I remember being let down, but don't quote me on that, because I can't remember. Um, but of course, this came out right after Godzilla. Well, the funny thing is, this came out in 1999 in Tokyo, in uh, Japan. 2000 for us. This came out in 2000 for them, and 2001 for us. But I can't remember too much about it. So there we go, Godzilla vs. Mechagirus. And then we have... Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, giant monsters all out attack. And I think this is the one where he's got the no pupils in his eyes, and I hate that look. I think that is like a terrible look for Godzilla. But again, can't remember too much about this one. So This one, I do vaguely remember liking it, but I'm not 100% sure. And that is Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. Uh, but like I said, I can't 100% remember. So, yeah, what the hell. Here we go, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. And next one up is 2003's Godzilla Tokyo SOS, which has Mechagodzilla again and Mothra. Uh, so again, haven't seen this one in a very long time, so can't really say anything about it. There we go, Godzilla Tokyo SOS. And the last one for this video is, of course... Godzilla Final Wars. The first time I watched this back in 2004, I did not like it. Which surprised, I think because everywhere I went, I don't know if it was the original Japanese cut that had it or not, but I kept hearing that they were going to kill him off. Which, and this was after, believe it or not, Godzilla got the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for the 50th anniversary. Um, they said they were going to kill him off, but from this one, they didn't. Uh, and this is actually the longest Godzilla movie. They're usually like 88 to like 90 minutes long or so, and this one's 125 minutes, which is just a little over two hours. And this involves almost every monster he's faced, but I love... I love the bit with the American version, and he kicked his ass in five seconds flat. I was killing myself laughing at that. But again, I haven't watched this since, so I can't comment on it. Hopefully, I'll like it a little bit better. So there we go. Godzilla Final Wars. And that is it for the Godzilla Collection until 2014. And I am so looking forward to that movie. He may be CGI, but he looks like we all know him, know him and love him. So I can't wait for that. I'm so excited. So let's hope uh, Gareth uh, Edwards is the right man for the job. So hope, hope, and I want my fucking trailer soon. <laughs> okay, guys, so that is it. I don't know when my next video is going to be. Just maybe make a comment or something on what you would like to see in my collection, either the movies or my soundtrack collection or my ever growing book collection. It's up to you guys what you guys what you all want to see. So there we go. After twelve long years of collecting DVDs, I finally got the big series I really wanted to finish. Finished as of today. Okay guys, so that is it. I hope you all have a good night. Watch a shitload of movies and of course, as always Rate, comment, and I will see you in the next video.